friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah and this is My Blessed Kitchen. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious, super quick peach cobbler. If you wanna know how I make this delicious dessert, just stay with me and let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started on our ingredients. We're gonna need one and a half sticks of butter, one cup of white sugar, one cup of self-rising flour, a half a cup of brown sugar, one can of peaches, one tablespoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of vanilla, and one cup of whole milk. All right, let's go ahead and get started assembling all this goodness. All right, in a baking dish, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our butter, and we're gonna put it into the oven and let it melt, okay? All right, while we're doing that, we're gonna add in our flour. Just to show you real quick, when you're measuring your flour, this is a half a cup, okay? So when you're measuring a cup, you're gonna go in and you're just gonna pat down, okay? Pat all the way down, make sure there's no air bubbles. And then the back of your knife, just go all the way across, okay? Because if you pack it tight, you can go over a cup of flour and your, your baked good isn't gonna come out the way it should. Okay, so just make sure there's no pockets. It's loosely packed, you're just making sure that there's no pockets. Once you do that, just scrape off the top. Okay. All right, so once we do that, we know that it is right at one cup. We'll add in our flour, our sugar, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Just a small pinch of salt. It's not even an eighth of a teaspoon. It will offset the sweetness just a tad and it'll make it perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna mix this. All right, just make sure this is well blended. Just make a little well in the middle. Make sure your flour is self-rising, okay? If you don't have self-rising, then you're gonna add a tablespoon and a half of baking powder and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, okay? Remember, you're gonna need the salt in there to activate the baking powder, okay? So we're gonna put a cup of milk straight in. Then your vanilla. I'm just gonna mix it really well. It comes together super fast. And I have not made this recipe with a low fat milk. Every time I do this, I get just a whole milk, okay? I'm sure you can, but I've never made it with a low fat milk. All right, our butter should be melted. So he has a little bit more to go. Just gonna give him a good mix around. All right, what we're gonna do next is the batter that we put together. We're just gonna push them right down in there. Okay, then we're gonna open our can of peaches. And then always make sure to clean the top of your cans because of the pest sprays and powders that they put at the grocery stores. You can dump the whole thing in there if you want to. I just make sure that the peaches are all the way around. Here comes my little sous chef. Hi, Jojo. All right, and then just pour. Okay, and don't forget your pan is hot from the butter. So I'm just gonna put this in the oven for 40 minutes on 350. All right, see you back after it's done. Look at this beautiful cobbler. And now for the best part, the taste test. Oh my gosh, so amazing. This is so delicious, and it takes no time at all, as you saw. You can just taste richness of the batter, you can taste the butter, the nutmeg, everything. Those Georgia peaches, I'm just kidding. They came from the grocery store in a can, but they're awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. From my blessed kitchen to yours, bye. You wanna go call brother? Tus labios rosados Yo me muero Por una prueba de placer, de placer. Siempre que estoy a tu lado Lo que siento 